Today I'm going to talk about the difference between dialogue and debating. This is a world. This is a world premiere. This is a world. So, hey you guys, welcome back to the vlog. So, today I'm going to talk a little bit about debating and dialogues. There's a lot of conversations that go on specifically on YouTube, specifically as part of the vegan YouTube community where people are very interested in seeing debates. But then when folks show up, there's usually kind of one person on one side of the screen and another person on the other side of the screen. And since there's no moderator and since people don't really understand the formal rules of debate, what ends up is, you know, a discussion where we have two people who are, you know, maybe coming in with opposing views, but then as they talk to each other because they're, you know, human beings, they're influenced by each other. And so the opinions of both parties tend to change. So what we really end up with is more of a dialogue, really a discussion. I'm going to talk about the difference between those two things. What is a debate and what is a dialogue really by talking about more of the kind of mode of thinking that one is in when you're entering in into a dialogue and when you're entering into a debate. So first of all, a dialogue is collaborative. So we've come into the room, there is something that we're all really trying to figure out and we're all bringing our kind of best thinking to figure out exactly what that is. Debate is oppositional. That means we take sides, right? So I have my side, you have your side, and we are coming at it in competition with each other. In a dialogue, we're listening because we want to understand. In a debate, I'm basically just listening for the flaws in your argument. In a dialogue, it's really about growth, right? The hope is that we're all going to be made better by coming together. Whereas the debate is about sticking to your guns. It's about staying exactly the same. So a dialogue is all about being open-minded. <laughs> Whereas a debate is more about being closed-minded. A dialogue requires us to reflect on what it is we're talking about. A debate, we need to be more defensive. In a dialogue, you have to be willing to let go. And in a debate, you're holding on tight. You're holding on fast. In a dialogue, we're looking for the best in everyone's contributions. In a debate, we want to see where the other person's contribution is weak. A dialogue requires us to have respect for the opinions, the experiences of others. Whereas in a debate, we want to diminish as much as possible the others. In a dialogue, we're assuming that everyone has something valuable to offer and that we're going to come to the best solution by considering the best of everyone's offerings. In a debate, there's one right answer. A dialogue is open-ended. We understand that some new information may be brought in that completely changes everything that everyone in the room was thinking. A debate demands an ending, like it needs a winner. And so I kind of fall on the side of dialogue, but I really have to admit that sometimes a debate is necessary. So when we're discussing veganism, we do have a very strong position. We don't think it's right that animals should die unnecessarily. We do want to protect the planet. We do want to protect the health of our loved ones. And so we do everything that we can to convince them of that position. When we're talking about larger society, when we're talking about the schools that we want to go to, when we talk about the way people want to live, the way people want to come together, when we're talking about people's culture, I think in those cases, it might be more useful to at least come from a place of dialogue. And even if we're talking about veganism, we might want to try to mimic the values and the principles of dialogue because nobody wants to feel like they're in a fight about what they put on their plate. One thing that's interesting to me is that, you know, feminists and SJWs and people who believe in religion or follow a religious faith are accused of being dogmatic and accused of being stuck in their flawed thinking. But interestingly, at least here on YouTube, there seems to be a real value given to being able to debate something. And I'm not sure whether that's necessarily healthy on a platform of this size. It seems to me that the last thing that you want to be on a platform that has so many people is, you know, dogmatic and stuck in thinking because there's so much opportunity to learn things from other people. 
it certainly helps me to understand and monitor the comments on this channel more effectively when I understand that people might be coming from different positions. There may be people who are interested in engaging in a debate where I might be more interested in engaging in a dialogue. And so our ways of communicating are gonna be very different and likely gonna be misunderstood. So what do you think? Do you have a preference for dialogue or discussion or debating? Let me know in the comments section. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto. Big guns and big